been here for seven years and this museum was closed that entire time and they put forward the idea of, of making a concert here and using the teaching gallery. That upped the ante for the students. I brought them here as soon as the museum opened a couple of days after because we were eager to get in. I took each of them that day on a walk around even the other galleries. We looked at old French art, we looked at modern art, and we looked down from above and thought, um, that's where the cellist is going to be, so conceive of the piece for this space. And the resonance in many of the pieces, I think, was a direct response. This is an astonishing space to play in, uh, because it's an instrument in itself as well as, the, as well as the cello is. Neil Hyde, as a performer, is one of the great cellists alive. He's a professor at the Royal Academy of Music in London. He was my first choice when I thought, let's do a concert, because another musician might say, well, it's not a concert hall, but he is very fluid moving into a situation like this. Working with all the students um, beforehand was, was also something really, really quite special. Every one of them was totally serious about what they wanted to do, had thought super creatively about where you, where you pick a point of contact with a painting. Mine was based on the Chinese character for Music and Joy by Ben Shan. My piece was called Pastoral Episodes, just kind of mimicking the sort of shape and organic nature of that figure that was in the painting. So the piece that I wrote is entitled Growing Pains, and it's inspired by a piece that was part of the collection that is entitled Self-Portrait at Age 11. So I chose a charcoal drawing called Music and Poetry. It depicts two women playing the music and reciting the poetry, and a man in black in the foreground who's sort of an inexplicable figure. And my piece followed my experience uh, being confused, but also intrigued by that drawing. There's an amazing collection here. The possibilities it presents for um, engaging audiences are almost endless. The museum is really cool because it's just here. I mean, we can come and just kind of have coffee in it and just like soak it all in, but also we get to engage in these amazing ways, you know, using uh, drawings or paintings and pieces of art to help influence our own work, whatever discipline that may be.